The Honorable Member for Radisson. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's very good to be back here in the Legislature with you and with my colleagues from all sides of the House as we strive to serve our constituents and all Manitobans as best we can. March is Childhood Arthritis Month here in Canada. Juvenile arthritis affects more than 1,500 children in Manitoba, ranging from infants to young adults. That's three out of every 1,000 children. In fact, juvenile arthritis affects more children than any other chronic disease. Juvenile arthritis is a sometimes severe inflammation of the joints. The cause is not well known. It can be progressive and disabling, affecting not just the joints, but also the eyes and other organs. Over the years, I've spoken at hundreds of different events, but one that really stands out in my memory is the Faces of Childhood Arthritis Luncheon. There, I got to meet children who live with juvenile arthritis. I'll never forget meeting young Natalie and her little sister Allison, who shared their story on the big stage at the Metropolitan Entertainment Center in front of hundreds of people. They spoke in the matter-of-fact way that children who have been heavily involved in the medical system can speak about the pain that they have endured, the corticosteroid injections that they've received, and the hope that newer biologic drugs offer them. And they were grateful for the special relationship that they had developed with the doctors and medical team that provided their care. These kids have to work incredibly hard to do what the rest of us would consider normal, but they do it every day and usually without complaint. And even through the pain, they manage to smile and enjoy life. They are incredibly brave. They're an inspiration to me and so many others about how to deal with adversity. And I am so very, very proud of them. So every day, but especially during Childhood Arthritis Month in March, please remember these brave kids and support efforts to combat and control juvenile arthritis.